have for our next bout of the evening, please welcome to the blue corner from Bexley and Kent, Jamie McWigan. Jamie McGuigan. And uh, please welcome to the red corner from central London, Colin Chu. Wherever you are in the world, welcome to the O2 Arena here in the Docklands in London. Chris Lloyd and Dave Fensum here with you through Colin the 18 or so the third Muay Thai Grand Prix, the Indigo O2. And just joining us on the undercard here. And uh, about six of some 20 odd tonight between Jamie McGuigan and the Double K Gym. Colin Chu and Team Chu is in the red corner. And, Dave, and ladies and gentlemen, this K1 rules bout will take place in the minute. minus 67 oh, kilogram division over three three-minute rounds. Introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Double K Jim in Bexley Kent. Please welcome Jamie McWigan. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, representing Team Chu Jim in central London. Please welcome Colin the Cheetah Chu. Gentlemen, come to the center. So the referee is bringing the competitors to the center of the ring. We had the They're rules meeting earlier. You understand those rules? Okay, protect yourselves at all times, fight cleanly, and good luck. Go to your corners. Judge, ready. Three, two minutes. Judge, rounds. ready. K1 rules. Judge, ready. Boxers, ready. Box. Round yeah, it one. Should be, should be a fast paced bout between these two. I've seen Colin fight before, very good style, southpaw. Uh, but Jamie is uh, one tough cookie from uh, Double K Gym. Expect fireworks at this weight, too. The early look at them. Chu looks to be a little taller, rangier of the two men. Break! Step yeah, back. This 67 Box. kilo weight is, uh, you've got the speed and the power. I like it as a weight to watch because it's exciting. You can still get some, some knockouts Break. here. Step back. Box. Chu always very composed. Always looks very relaxed in the ring. Neutral corner. Accidental low blow Neutral there. Corner. Go there. The ref Neutral will give corner. him time to, to get a breather. One of the main differences okay, in K1 as well. Kicks, okay, in Muay Thai, time. you don't get a breather. You have to carry on. Box on. Or you get counted, unfortunately. It's up to you. Out of interest, Dave, what's the, uh, what's the limit allowed? Okay. Is it up Ready? to five minutes? Ready. Box. Or we, or it, well, it seems to be straight back in. So. Okay. I think that's annoyed him. <laughs> well, there's already plenty Stop of boxing. reddening Box. around the midsection. Of McGuigan, so evidence of those body kicks getting through early from Chu. Yeah, both athletes Break. in really good condition One here. You can Box. see McGuigan looks like he's lining up that, that big right hand. Sometimes I think he's looking for it a little bit Break. too much. Step back. I'm just Box. telegraphing that, as you say. Yeah, that's a nice kick there, but caught well. Box. A sweep from McGuigan there, just sending Chu to the canvas for the first time in round one. Break. Stop boxing, let go. Box. And that's a nice Break. counter right hand. Again, just Stop caught boxing. the back. Box. leg of the body kick from Chu. 
Yeah, Colin Chu just loves peppering that left body kick out. Box. Eating a couple of right hands on the way in, though. Okay, Same. Wigan seems to be wanting to throw the hands a little bit more than the feet, doesn't he, in round one? That's it. And I mean, in Muay Thai, you, you really need to, to kick to score. But in K1, everything scores the same and it's work great. And uh, Jamie being the aggressor, always coming forward, will work in his favour. And I suppose you would expect intrinsically a, a higher tempo of action because there is only three two minute rounds as opposed to the normal five in, in Muay Thai rules. So a little bit less time to get to know your opponent. That's it. There's less time. And because everything scores the same, it's all about what you land. Whereas in Muay Thai, scoring is slightly a little bit more complex, maybe, uh, and certain things score higher. So you can be, you can fight smart, you can score well, then move off, take your time. But in K1, you can't afford to sit back. Seconds out. Corners, ten seconds. Makes for an exciting fight for the crowd. Let's go, red corner. Okay, round two, box. So mouth guards in, away we go. Round yeah. number Stop two, boxing, McGuigan Brent. in the blue corner, Chu Box. in the red. Stop boxing, break, break. Big hands going in there from Jamie. Box. He means business. And I think he sees that Chu carries his chin a little bit high there, which uh, worries me slightly, because Jamie looks like he's got strong hands. Stop boxing, break. Back. Jamie's corner there, uh, Kieran Box. Kettle just shouting, don't give him space. Basically telling him to close the distance. Break. Step back. And walked into straight left Box. hand there from Chu, but again, he comes forward. And Chu's, Chu's, Chu's a very good counter fighter. Uh, I've seen him fight Muay Thai rules and he, he's Box. very smart about the way he fights, but he can't Break. afford to be like that in a K1 bout. Box. Break. Step back. Well, he looks comfortable. And, as you mentioned, looks composed on the back foot, Chu. But the aggression that Break. McGuigan is putting into these flurries Step and combinations, back. it is Box. hard to maintain your composure and relaxation when somebody does swarm all over you in these little raids. But that's better oh. from Chu. Bit straight left down the middle there. And you can see a little bit of blood coming from the nose Box. of Jamie McGuigan now. It's, it's economical work Break. from Chu. Step back. That's exactly right. Picking his moments and saving energy, and when you look at the, the difference between two of them through round two, Chu looks considerably the fresher of the two men, even though he's arguably been under more pressure for longer in the bout. Break. Step back. Very true. Uh, he, that's the thing. He is very economical. Picks his shots well, moves well. You can see him just waiting and then taking his shot when it's there. Nothing's wasted. Break. Back. Good. Box. Better work, another straight Break. lead left, and then bringing in that long knee. Time. Oh, good course. finish to the round again from Chu. He makes it look pretty effortless as well, and he's a very strong, strong uh, competitor there. Last round. Well, lots and lots to look forward to. Live TV fight card starts in a couple Last of hours' round. time. four-man K1 rules tournament to look forward to too, as well as the return of Damien Trainer, the main event, sometime around 11, 11.30 tonight. Hard to tell, really. So much action. Lots and lots to look forward to. Seconds out. Boxers ready. Corners out, let's go. Red corner. Last round. Box. Stop boxing, break. Step back. Box. So third and final round. Colin Chu in the red Stop corner. Stop boxing, break. Step back. Box. Jamie McGuigan in the blue. And the aggression of McGuigan and that. Early energy expenditure cost him in this third round. Chu looking composed, picking his shots there. Jamie just a little unguarded as he's running in, and uh, Chu's capitalising on that. Wait. His left hand is landing every time. 
And a nice high kick moment Break. to go to. Step back. Just sense perhaps Chu Turn beginning around. to take control of the contest. I do see Break. Chu having a bright Step future back. in this sport as well. He's, I mean, I, I heard uh, his his trainer Philip Chu there telling him to throw that right uh, that left knee, sorry, straight from the back, and he's predominantly Break. done it here, and it looks one like knee. it's having a real knee. effect. Box. Well, you just wonder whether he was saving a bit of energy for a burst there, and he unloaded Break. on Step McGuigan, up. knees, hooks, and straight lefts. Again, he just still looks so composed, but everything he throws is Break. precise and accurate. Box. And again, just bringing Break. McGuigan onto those shots. Step back. Box. Break. Hasn't got to go looking for him. Box. Again, nice straight left hand, bang on the button, brings Break. the knees in behind one lead, it. One lead. Box. Again, although there's plenty going into those shots, they're just whistling past the ears. Box. Again, left Break. hand landing straight down Break the middle from Chu. Step back. Box. Got to be coming up for the closing moments of this bout and. I have Break. to say, Colin Chu's been impressive. Box. Time. Well, well done, certainly boys. has. And, well, his aggression versus economy for those three rounds, a really interesting clash of styles. But we think the decision looks like it may be going to the man in the red corner. Yeah, I'd say, again, at risk of never wanting to be a judge. Uh, but I'd definitely say that goes red corner. Very good performance from both gentlemen, but Colin Chu just taking that one. Yeah, we won't be taking too many risks as the night goes on. We'll leave the judging to the judges. Corner, uh, show your appreciation for both fighters after three hard-fought rounds of action. And after those three action-packed rounds, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision. All in favor of your winner fighting out of the Red corner, it's Colin, the cheetah, Chu. Show your appreciation for our runner-up, the very tough Jamie McGuigan.